Hello students. So for today's lesson, we are going to be reading a story, a book, out of our anthology. You'll recall that the anthology is our larger textbook, and an anthology is a collection of books that were originally published elsewhere, and then an editor chose a bunch of books and put them into this anthology. So the story we're going to read today is on page 34. It's actually one of my favorite stories in this anthology. It's called Big Red Lollipop. And this story is about a girl named Rubina and a conflict that she gets into with her little sister. And one of the reasons that I love this story is because I can relate to it. I can make connections to this story because I had a little brother and I have a little sister and we often had conflicts. So in this story, you're going to read about how Rubina and her sister have a conflict and how it gets resolved in the end. Um, before you start, Rubina's family comes from a different country. They actually come from Pakistan, which has different cultures and different customs. And that's one of the reasons why there is a conflict in the story is because Rubina's mother does not understand sort of the things that happen in America. Um, but you're going to find some words in here and some names that might be a little confusing. So I want to talk about them real quick. As I said earlier, the main character's name is Rubina. Um, we don't really hear her name till the end of the story because she's telling the story. So for most of the story, she's just saying things like, I, 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 me, we. But her name is Rubina, but she calls her mother. She doesn't call her mom. She calls her Ami. You'll see that word, Ami. Um, and then Rubina has two little sisters. One of them is Sana. You'll see her name in the, in the story, Sana. And um, she has another little sister whose name you're going to see in the sister, Mariam. So when you see those names, you'll be ready for them. Names can be tricky sometimes to read, but I want you to go ahead and take a read in this story. If it's a little difficult for you and you need some help, then please ask for help. You should never be afraid or ashamed to ask somebody for help if you don't know how to do something. So if you need me to help you read this book, uh, I am happy to help you read this book. If there is, if I'm not around or, you know, you need somebody else to help you, please ask for help. And I'm sure that most of the adults that you run into would be very happy to take five minutes to help you read this book. Um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. And then when we're finished reading it, we're going to answer a couple questions about the story. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story Big Red Lollipop as much as I love the story Big Red Lollipop. I want to jump to the ending here and take a look at the respond to reading page. Now, just like every book in the anthology, at the end of this story, there's going to be four questions called text evidence and two questions called make connections. I'm not asking you to do all six of those questions today. I'm asking you to do one of the text evidence questions and one of the make connections questions. The questions I would like you to answer are specifically number two and number two, I guess. So this number two and then the second make connections question. So let's take a look at that text evidence question and I've got my notebook right here to get ready to write my answer. How does Rubina feel about taking Sana to the birthday party? Use details from the story to support your answer. How does Rubina feel about taking Sana to the birthday party? Well, does she want to? Is she excited about this? No, she is not. She does not want to take her sister. Okay, so once again, remember, the person reading this, whether it's me or some other person that's reading this, is not going to have this book sitting right in front of them. So your answers need to be complete enough that the person doesn't need the book. So in the book, big red Lollipop. I forgot how to spell lollipop, so I just looked in the book to see. 
And we're going to underline it because it's the name of a book. In the book, Big Red Lollipop, Rubina is not excited to take her sister Sana to the birthday party. Now, that sentence does a great job of telling what I'm talking about and also answering the question, but it doesn't explain the answer. So now I'm going to add some more sentences to explain. And I want to use some details from the story. I remember that was at the beginning of the story. And first, she tries to explain to her mother that taking a sister is not the custom then she begs her mom to not make her take her sister when that fails she tries to convince Sana that she should not go. All of this shows that Rubina really did not want her sister to come along. So, I wrote a sentence to answer the question and explain what I'm talking about, and then I wrote three more sentences to provide details from the story, to kind of prove what I was talking about. Like, hey, here's what I think, Sana didn't want to take her sister, but then I prove it. I show you with information from the story. It's not just my guess. It's not just my opinion. I have evidence from the story to show you exactly why I think that that's true. So I want you to give that question a, a try. And my guess is that when you answer that question, your answer is going to look similar to mine because you're reading the same story and you're going to be using some of the same exact evidence. So that's okay. But now this second question, this make connections question, how can brothers and sisters work to get along? Well, I can, I'm looking at my paper here. I've got a little bit of room left. I'm going to try to put my answer there. I think I can fit it in there. It's a new paragraph, so I'm going to leave a space here. I have a brother and a sister and sometimes it is hard to get along now maybe you don't have a brother or a sister or maybe you just have a brother or just a sister or n none of them maybe you're going to have to think about brothers and sisters that you know or brothers and sisters that you've seen on tv that's fine you can talk about that um it is hard to get along. We have to work hard to try to get along. We take turns. We share things. We help 
each other. The hardest part is when I have to do something I don't like to make my brother or sister happy. It can be hard, but we do get along most of the time. Good, I did fit it in there. If I hadn't, if I needed another page, that would have been fine, but I did get it fit in there. So, I wrote another little paragraph. My first sentence tells us what I'm talking about. I have a brother and a sister, so it's hard to get along. Then I give examples of what we do so that we can get along. And then I have a little conclusion at the end to remind people what I was talking about. Now it's your turn. I want to know what evidence you found in Big Red Lollipop. I want to know what you think about brothers and sisters getting along. I'm looking forward to reading what you guys are writing on these topics. And I'll talk to you again real soon.